The frame and sidewinder machine has been a staple in the locksmith industry since its introduction in 1990. A different approach was taken with the sidewinder in comparison to other high security machines. Instead of a large, bulky machine to do a relatively simple job, the sidewinder has a small footprint and weighs in at only 38 pounds. When using the machine in a mobile setting, you'll appreciate the smaller size and portability the machine offers. In addition, the Sidewinder comes complete with everything you need to duplicate almost any high security you key used today. Two sets of vices, four cutters, and two guides are included at time of purchase. The Sidewinder can duplicate almost any high security key in use today, including Mercedes, Opel, BMW, Volvo, Saab, Infiniti, Lexus, Volkswagen, Audi, and Honda. After unpacking your machine, take a few moments to complete the warranty card included with your machine and mail it in. Before you begin using the Sidewinder, you should also attach the rubber feet to the bottom of the machine. They can be found in the small drawer underneath the machine. This will reduce any vibration and help keep the machine from sliding on the bench top. Also, please read through your owner's manual thoroughly before attempting to use the Sidewinder. This video will follow along with the order of the owner's manual, however the owner's manual has much more detailed information than this video. If you ordered an AC machine, the Sidewinder requires a standard 120 volt connection. If you ordered a 12 volt DC machine, you will need to connect the cord to the wiring in your service vehicle, either with a lighter socket or hard wire, depending on your particular interior setup. If you ordered the machine with a 240 volt motor, you will need to attach the proper plug to the power cord before use. Do not force the cutting procedure. The machine will do a better job when operated at the rate for which it was designed. Keep the work area clean, wear proper apparel. Loose clothing, hair, or jewelry can get caught in the rotating cutter. Secure the pattern key in the blank correctly. Be sure the machine is unplugged when using the Allen wrench to secure cutters. Keep the machine clean of dust and chips. Remove the Allen wrench or hex key immediately after making adjustments. Keep the cutter sharp and replace as often as necessary for op optimal cutting. Use the machine only for the purpose for which it was designed. Always wear safety glasses. The operation of this machine can result in key shavings being thrown from the work area. Make sure the work area is well lighted. Moving the lever on the left side of the machine controls the carriage or the sidewinder. The carriage should easily slide forward and back as well as left and right. The key vices are mounted to the carriage or table. Cutter depth adjustments will be made with the lever on the right side of the machine in combination with the cutter head clamp nut in front of the machine. Keys cut on the Sidewinder must be cut using the conventional cutting method only. This method can be thought of as feeding the material against the rotation of the end mill. See your manual for more detailed information of this cutting method. Always give the cutter time to cut. Too little side pressure can result in an improperly cut key. Too much side pressure can damage the cutter. Deburr the first side of the key before flipping it over to cut the second side. This will assure that the blank is laying flat in the vise. Cutting too slow can heat the cutter up from rubbing on the side of the key. This will destroy the heat treatment on the cutter. The actual cutting of one side of a 4-track key should take only one pass in about 10 seconds. The key vices of the Sidewinder are reversible to provide the best clamping pressure for different shapes of side milled keys. You should find two sets of vices with the machine. Side A jaws have even steps to accommodate most side milled keys. Use the A vices except for the following cases. Use side B to hold Mercedes 2-track keys. There is a slight step on one side of the vise that should go over the top of the key as it sits in the vise. Use the Volkswagen Audi vises for Porsche, Volkswagen, and Audi center cut keys. The vises have a V stamped on one side. This is for the standard Volkswagen key. If you need to cut the valet key, use the side without the stamp. To remove the vises from the machine, slide the carriage out from beneath the cutter area. This will provide sufficient room to reverse the vise jaws. Be sure to clean all chips from the vices and table before replacement. Back the vise clamp nut out until spring pressure is relieved. The vise clamp nut is the plastic nut that tightens and loosens the key vise. Using two hands, separate the vise bottom and T-stop away from the aluminum post connected to the table. Lift the entire vise straight up. Do not unscrew the clamp nut completely. The vise does not need to be taken completely apart to remove it from the machine. Reinstall the new vise by reversing the above steps. The vise and T-stop should hug the aluminum posts and snap into place. Most side milled keys have one or two shoulders from which alignment can be obtained. Insert the keys into the vises and make certain that the same shoulder for both keys is used to attain alignment. 
For lawn keys such as Lexus or those without shoulders, the tip stop plate must be used. The tip stop is built into the carriage at the base of the vices and slides up into place for alignment. Slide the tip of the key against the tip stop and tighten the vice jaw. The tip stop must be lowered before cutting the key. The adjustable stop is designed for non-shouldered keys whose blades are too short to reach the built-in tip stop. The stop is included to operate as a varying length tip stop. It is first positioned for the tip of the pattern key at the far edge of the vice jaws. The threaded screw is then rotated until it contacts the tip of the key. The adjustable stop is then positioned in front of the key blank tip to determine the proper position. The Sidewinder includes two guides and four cutters at time of purchase. Two 332nd inch cutters, two 532nd inch cutters, one 332nd inch guide, and one 532nd inch guide are included. Usage of the cutters and guides are as follows. External cut keys such as BMW, Mercedes, Opel, Saab, and Volvo use the 532nd inch cutter and guide. Internal cut keys such as Lexus, Mazda Millennia, Volkswagen, and Audi use the 332nd inch cutter and guide. A special 3mm cutter and guide is available exclusively for use with the Volkswagen and Audi keys. You can use the 332nd cutter and guide without any problems. If you cut a high volume of the Volkswagen Audi keys, you may want to consider purchasing the extra components. Before cutting a key on the Sidewinder, there are four basic steps that must be taken. Align the cutter and guide to each other. Align the cutter and guide to the pattern key. Align keys properly. And use the proper cutting procedure. This step must be done anytime a cutter or guide is changed in the machine or if you change the vices. Once this step is complete, you do not have to repeat it for each key you make. Insert two identical keys into the vices. Flat steel keys are ideal. Be sure the vices are on the same side. With the vice table all the way towards the user, insert the guide into the left collet until it bottoms out. Tighten the Allen screw to secure the guide in place. Be sure that the depth adjusting knob is on set, the cutter head clamp nut is loosened, and the guide lock knob is loosened. Insert the cutter into the right collet, but do not tighten it. Slide the vice table under the cutter and guide so that the blank keys are positioned directly below the cutter and guide. Allow the cutter to drop down onto the surface of the key blank. Next, pull down on the spindle lever until the guide is completely compressed. There should be no up-down movement to the guide if it is fully compressed. While the guide is being compressed, you should be able to see the cutter being pushed up into its collet. With the spindle lever pulled down completely, tighten the cutter head clamp nut. This will hold the cutter head assembly in the lowered position and you can remove your hand from the spindle lever. Check the guide once again to make sure there is no up-down travel. Next, tighten the cutter with the 8th inch allen wrench supplied in the drawer. The cutter and guide are now calibrated properly to each other. Before actually cutting the key, you must set the proper depth of cut for the particular key you are about to cut. This must be done without a key in the right side vise. Also, if you are cutting several copies of the same kind of key, all Mercedes 4-track for instance, you do not have to repeat this step for each key. Loosen the cutter head clamp nut, guide lock knob, and be sure the depth adjusting knob is indicating set. Insert the pattern key into the left vise and lock it into place. The key must be positioned flat in the vise. Position the cutout portion of the pattern key under the guide and pull down on the spindle lever until the guide contacts the key. Continue downward pressure until the guide shaft bottoms out and the downward movement of the spindle lever stops. Do not use excessive pressure. This step is critical. You must set the proper cut depth for this particular style of key. While maintaining pressure on the spindle lever, tighten the cutter head clamp nut to fix the cutting head of the machine in place. You can now relax pressure on the spindle lever. It should remain in the lower position. As a check, the cutter and guide should visually be at the same depth and the guide should have no up-down travel to it. Also, the guide is pressing down on the pattern key and smooth movement of the table would be difficult. Do not move the table yet. This will be taken care of in the next two steps. Turn the depth adjusting knob to the 10 position. You should feel a D10 at this position. This adds 10 thousands of clearance between the guide collet and the depth screw. You will not see any movement of the guide in this step, however. Lift up on the guide until it stops. You should notice a very slight upward movement of the guide, 10 thousands of travel. Hold the guide in this position with your right hand and tighten the guide lock knob. This will hold the guide in the upper position. You should now be able to move the table back and forth without any resistance. Next, insert the key blank to be cut into the right side vise and tighten it into place. You are now ready to cut the key.
Be sure that both keys you have inserted into the vise are inserted in the same way, according to the loading instructions found in your manual. Using proper cutting procedure will assure smooth cuts and cutter longevity. Determine what type of key you are cutting from the illustration in your manual, and follow the cut direction as shown. Once you have finished cutting a key, you should reset the machine so it is ready for the next key. Remove both keys from the vices. Loosen the cutter head clamp nut, guide lock knob, and turn the depth adjusting knob back to set. The machine is now ready for the next key. If you have several of the same types of keys to be cut, you do not need to reset the machine after each key. The Sidewinder machine has no user adjustment for side-to-side -side spacing. The machine is set at the factory and should require no adjustment. The only other adjustment to the machine is the depth of cut, which is detailed in your manual on page 7 and 8. The carriage tension screw on the right side of the machine adjusts the side-to-side -side tension on the vice table. Adjust the screw so there is some pressure, but not so much as to cause problems moving the table. The vice table of the machine rides on hardened steel pins and roller bearings and should never need lubrication. Cutters should be changed if they do not easily cut a key or if excessive vibration is felt. You can also visually check a cutter to assure there are no nicks in the cutter. Some customers prefer to add a small drop of cutting oil to the cutter or the surface of the key before cutting for longer cutter life. Small and compact, the Sidewinder can handle all of your high security duplication needs. The Sidewinder is backed by a one-year parts, labor, and freight warranty.